Hey guys, this has been from Pro Sound Communications NAM Show 2012. Exotic artist John Pena, Steve Milhouse. Guys, if you want to hear some good bass playing, check out John and check out Steve. Now, you guys are both using uh, XJ models, right? Right. Right. Yeah, what, no. what has been your experience with the new HRI? And for you guys that don't know, don't know about what the HRI is, it's a hum canceling unit that actually goes in the bass does not change the tone whatsoever, so you can get that classic single cool sound without that, that 60 cycle hum. So what has been your guys' impression of it so far? Uh, for me, it's, it's been great, because uh, you know most of the time I like to switch pickups uh, and each, you know, change the sound on each song. So I like to use either the neck pickup or bridge pickup. And I used to get a little hum before, which is nat natural on single coil pickups. Now I don't have that problem, so it's really nice. It's Do you nice find that it's more in a live situation or more in a studio setting where you really need something like that? Believe it or not, I found it in both, okay. in both situations. But live, a little, a little harsher live, because the grounding in the most clubs, you know, when you play at, they're not so uh, well grounded. So the live, you'll hear it a little louder. But in the studio, still, it's pretty subtle, but it's still there. So, yeah. and, and Steve, you do a lot of Broadway stuff. Uh, has that helped you, or? Um, for me, in my in the bases that I have now, I don't have the hum canceling in it. But the only I usually use both pickups full on, so it's not really a problem for most of the time for me. But on the on my fretless, I do have it panned back a little bit to the back pickup. And but it, for me, I don't really notice it that much. It's, it's well, not it, something that bothers it's me. It's all depending on you know the environment that you're in right. sometimes. But I know in the studio, and sometimes in some New York clubs, man, it can be horrendous. Yeah, so yeah. it's a it's a great tool. But you know what? He's still said something really uh, important because when you do use both pickups, you don't have it's, you don't uh, yeah. there is no uh, yeah, yeah no buzz. Well, I think that's the big challenge that everybody wants that single cool sound, but. Right. Let's get rid of the hum, you know, if we can do that. And I think that's exactly what HRI does. Well, what's new in 2012 for you guys? Travel, sessions. I just came from a session, so. Uh, for me, my the Broadway show, Godspell, still running. Um, yeah, and come I'm, and watch it if you're in New York City. Come and watch <laughs> these guys. We're actually sitting out in the audience. They took out some audience seats, so yeah. I'm playing there, and people are sitting, like, almost as close to me as John is. No pressure, so, no pressure. <laughs> so they're always like coming up and like watching and asking about the bases and you know, it's cool. They, they can see that like, oh, we're at a show. There's like live musicians sitting like right here, you know, it's cool. Wow. Well guys, John Pena, Steve Milhouse, we got Chuck Rainey, we got Travis Carlton, we got Spicy, we got Bill Hunt, we got all these guys. Check us out on the web at ExoticEffects.com. This has been from NAMM Show 2012. We'll see you soon.